another video so today we are going to do some nails i received a kit from sxc cosmetics they sent me over a temperature change poly gel kit in their vampire series and so we are going to do a set of nails with this kit right now all i'm doing is putting on my nail primer and dehydrator which a lot of people ask me how i get my nails to stay on so long um, this is part of the reason why, and I did my nail prep off camera with my e-file and my cuticle pusher. You can kind of still see it in the video. So look at this packaging, y'all. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. And I didn't realize that my camera was so jacked up or whatever. It's my first time using this new setup, so I'm going to get better, guys, I promise. Um, but I did take a good picture, put it in the thumbnail, so you guys can see how pretty this packaging is. And so it came with six poly gel kits, the instruction manual, and the instruction manual is very, very detailed and it's like glossy so it'll last a while so you don't have to worry about messing it up. It came with dual forms. I wasn't too impressed with the dual forms. Um, they were a little flat for my liking. Some people like them like that. I don't. So I used my other nail forms that I got from Barano. I mean, my dual forms I got from Barano. It also came with uh, some little sugar piece glitters. Um, I didn't use those, but I think I'm going to use them for my next set. And then it came with a nail file and the picker tool and brush, which I did use and worked very, very well. It matched the kit and had the logo on it with the colors for the vampire kit. It came with nail forms. I have to start practicing with those guys. I'm terrible, terrible with nail forms. And it came with some really, really pretty um, crystals. I don't know if they're A or AB. I'm, I'm still learning y'all, I'm getting there. So this first color is Ambrosia and it is so pretty. The second color is Drusilla, Drusilla. And these are why they are cold. So these are the colors they are if you're cold. The next color is Lucinda. Yeah, I messed that all up, y'all. Terrible, I messed it all up. And then the next color is called Elisabetta. So it's like basically pinks and purples and blacks while they're warm. The next color is Dracula, the one that I'm getting ready to put down. Yeah. And then the last color is Victoria. It also came with the top coat and the base coat. And like I said, you guys can see the nail file and the stones. So it was just a beautiful kit. So those are all the colors while they are warm. And I ended up using the Ambrosia, the first one. So I put it in the light. And that's what they look like after they've been heated up. So they're like, a, they turn to milky gray and like pink colors. So that's why I went ahead and used the Ambrosia because pink is my favorite color. And the milky turned out so pretty, guys. You'll see at the end. So now I'm putting on the base coat gel on all of my nails. Just trying to make sure I get it everywhere and evenly. I noticed that if you literally don't get it on the entire nail, that's what will cause a lot of the lifting, even if you have on primer and dehydrator. Also, um, if you flood the cuticle with the base gel, it will make it, for some reason, it'll not stick as well. You'll have some lifting as well. And I also noticed, now that I've done my nail you know, prep properly with the nail file, I've had these nails on for almost a week now, and only one has come off. And the one that has come off, I will show you guys which one, and I will tell you exactly why when we get to that part. Because um, I knew it was going to come off before, like, literally right after I did my nails, after I finished the video and I looked at it, I was like, yeah, that one's going to come off. So, I've picked out my dual forms. I've cured the gel. 
a base coat in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. You do have to have a nail lamp to do poly gel. Um, I'll leave a link for one down below, the one that I use. So basically, I just squeeze the poly gel in the dual form. And I pat it down to a little bit longer than I want it to be. And I do that because so when I go back into shape and file, I can get it exactly the length that I want without like filing away some of it. Because you still have to file poly gel even if you use the dual forms because sometimes it'll leave a ring around your cuticles or a lot of them come with square like these are pretty much square i like them to be a little bit tapered on the inside so i do file them uh pretty good and also you guys see i flipped my nail over and i brushed it down that is to make sure it's smooth on the bottom and it's not all bumpy and humped up and i took my brush and got the excess from around the outsides as well and bam after 60 seconds you pop the nail form off, the dual form off, and you have a whole nail. That's why I love poly gel. There's no smell. It's easy to use for a beginner like me. I tried acrylic. It, it didn't work out well for me. It. My boyfriend hated the smell. I hated the smell. And I didn't want the smell in the house enough to practice. So I found out about poly gel from a YouTuber named Long Hair Pretty Nails. And I've been using poly gel ever since. And it, it helps a lot. Like, you can encapsulate, which I'm going to show you guys in this video, too. You can encapsulate. You can put real flowers. You can put decorations. Actually, that's what I'm doing now. I just put some McCart Clear, just a really thin layer, in the dual form. And I put the flower on. Ah, backwards. Ugh. And I didn't realize it until after I had done it. But you live and you learn, so I made sure I did it right on the next nail. And then I'm going to take some um, holographic butterflies and put them in there I think I put just like three and yeah, one two three just in like random positions around the flower using just a random wax pen and then I want to take the pink glitter that came with the kit that I'm using and just kind of spread it randomly in there because I like glitter I like stones I like shiny stuff so couldn't have them completely plain. So once you get the glitter in there, how you like it, however you want it, if you want glitter, if you don't want glitter, whatever, just make sure it's thin. And then I put a layer of the pink and milky color changing poly gel in there. And just kind of don't rub it hard, just kind of like pat it down. Cause you don't want to mess up all the pretty design that you've done on the inside. And guys, I'm going to do better with my filming. I didn't realize how off-center I was. But like I said, this is my first time using this setup. I'm learning. <laughs> I told you guys I was taking you on this journey with me. So this was part of the learning journey. I had I messed it up. but So now I put the nail form on, the dual form on. Squeeze it, you know, get out any excess. Smooth out the bottom. And then smooth it out to make sure it's good. You know, I'm going to put it in the lamp how pretty that is you guys oh, so pretty I even like the milky like I wasn't a milky nail fan but I like these especially like when they start changing color to the pink they do like an ombre type thing and it's so cute but yeah I've gotten a lot of compliments on these nails I'm learning to love long and new things because I was a short square girl. Let's just look at just pat the poly gel in, y'all. It's so easy. I don't like people look at me like I'm crazy when I say I do my own nails and it's this easy. Like it doesn't take that long. The first time I did them, it took two hours. I have a video for that. I'll link it somewhere so you guys can see it. It took me like a little over two hours. Now I can get it done in like an hour and a half. But, I don't know, with my new nail prep, it's kind of like an hour and 45. But, we're make, it's getting shorter. So now, as you guys can see, I've done them all, and I'm filing. I'm just using the hand file. Literally, you can do all of your filing with the poly gel with a hand file. It is that soft, and it is that easy. But it is durable and sturdy. Like, just as long as you're not super rough with your nails, just like with anything, you know, it lasts. They last, the last set um, I had on for three weeks. 
and then I popped them off because I was using this kit. Um, but the next set I do, I believe I'm just going to do a fill. Because I kind of like these. Yeah, I do. I really do. So, I'm going to put a stone in the middle of each flower because I have to have some type of bling. So, I'm going to use some builder gel that I got in the little pot. I'm just going to rub that on there. Oh, look at how pretty that glitter is. Oh. And then I'm going to take the top coat that came with the kit and go over it. Oh, it's so pretty. Even with the backwards flower, y'all. It's so pretty. Excuse my voice, y'all. I'm getting over being sick. So I'm sorry. I just realized I probably sound like a frog. Now we're going to top coat the rest of the nails. Oh, look how pretty that is. I told you guys I'm turning into a milky nail fan. That wasn't me before but now I've been thinking about like milk bath designs and different things I could do because summer is coming and you know it's all light and pretty and spring and all that so the pretty pastel colors oh, they're so pretty guys so we're gonna do the same for my other hand I did that hand off camera because I didn't want to use up too much space but it was just the same process I already showed you that glitter is so pretty. With the flower on correctly, <laughs> it looks so pretty. And top coat the rest. the thumb you have to be careful like my thumb runs sometimes but this top coat wasn't super runny so I put cuticle oil on that's what I'm rubbing on now because you got to do that and yeah I'm gonna fix that in a second you'll be able to see look how pretty they are uh that nail right there that thumbnail is the one that popped off did you guys see I don't know if you can see there was a little hole where I missed some poly gel and then when I flipped it over, I realized that there was no poly gel, like, in the middle touching the nail. All of it, it squeezed out to the end. So, yeah, it popped off. But thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you enter my giveaway on the previous video. Have a great day.